Hello folks, my name is Rojo, and welcome back to Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. When we last left off, we uh, did a little favor for Venus and the uh, the club here, and have kind of established ourselves a continuous source of income, which is nice. Now, I had said that maybe we would go and do the Play Bear request, but there's another place that I've sort of ignored, um, just because I wasn't really sure how I wanted to fit it in. This may end up being a little bit of a... Shorter episode, but uh, we shall see. But actually, the place in question is the one that we sort of just walk by all the time, right over here. The uh, this abandoned building here. We uh, we have some things we can do here. I believe I've mentioned it before, but uh, I think now's the time uh, because it sort of ties into another quest. At least that's what somebody has told me. So uh, we'll uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. All right, so what do we got here? It appears that we have. Oh! Help me! Help me! It's got them. It's it's coming for me now. It's, it's coming for me. Okay, uh, slow down, man. What's coming? Who the hell are you? My crew. My crew. We, we were we were here shooting for my show. I'm a parapsychologist, haunted LA. Oh, oh God! It was right behind me. We've got to get out of here. Uh, man, <laughs> okay, dude, what's behind you? Look, I'll level with you. We, we, we usually fake these things, you know, ghosts, if that's all bullshit. We were setting up downstairs, and we heard shit started happening. My crew, they all started disappearing. I, I don't know what's happening. Oh, man, all right. That's, uh, that's not good, but, uh, how about you wait here? I'll see if I can track him down for you, because you're a random stranger, and I like doing favors for people I don't know. No, no, don't go down there. We've got to get out. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> all we got for you is the triple dot. Bye-bye. Okay, I guess he's not leaving. Oh, there's actually a, uh, there's a vent there, but it's locked. A couple computers uh, set up here and everything. So this appears to be a, uh, I guess an abandoned, um... Oh. Oh. <laughs> that didn't look good. Appears to be like an abandoned asylum, maybe? Uh, hospital? Care center of some kind? But, uh, clearly things are not as they should be here. Not at all. Just checking out what we can find out here. Never, uh... Man, do you remember TVs with dials on them? I do. <laughs> um, yeah, just, you never know what you're gonna find. But I don't think we can mess with that at all. Can we? No, I don't think so. We actually can't go that way. Uh, hmm. Uh... <laughs> okay, man, you do your thing. <laughs> I was curious if you had anything else to say. So no, that doesn't open. Um, all right, so there's obviously there's a passage somewhere that I'm missing here, uh, and I think it's right here. Okay, <laughs> the, uh, the very obvious broken vent. Okay, so we can't go down there, but that doesn't matter because I think it's the same room. Uh, we could go down there and probably will be forced to, in fact, <laughs> because I don't think we can make any kind of jump there in the, uh, the vent. So yeah, we're on the other side of things now here. Ooh, we can break these. Interesting. I don't want to go in there just yet, though. Hang on. Uh, okay. Nothing, uh, nothing going on up there that we can get to anyway. And it doesn't look like we can get through here, either. This is just a spooky place, man. Alright, so I guess we go... ...down through here. Through the janky physics and shit. <laughs> I think we're gonna have to... ...move some of this shit out of the way. Not good, man. <laughs> I mean, he says usually they fake this shit, but uh, not this time. He did. The uh, dude did seem pretty whacked out. I guess we can uh, we can pick this up with the greatest of ease. <laughs> oh, you cannot foil me, please. It's but uh, but child's play to move these 
you know, 60 pound, uh, 70 pound tra trolleys around like so much tissue. Okay, so it looks like they were doing, uh, doing a shoot here. Um, some kind of something. And that's what we, this is actually looks like what we were seeing on the screen there. Sort of? Kind of hard to say. Um, excuse me one moment. There we go. Just had to shut off the annoying phone. All right, so I don't think there's anything else going on here. We can fuck up their camera though. Ha! Oh well, considering with the, <laughs> how easy it was for us to throw that other thing around, I'm a little shocked that this one is a little bit less cooperative. The uh, it's just it's the un it's the unsinkable ship here. We got <laughs> the camera cannot be destroyed. Okay, I don't know if we're gonna find anything over in that corner, but I do want to look. I wish we had a flashlight or something. That would that would be nice. And we have found a dark corner. Very well. Okay, now things are getting a little bit a little bit more gruesome here. <laughs> oh, I guess some of that's paint. Here's somebody screaming. We can get across these fucking obstacles, Jesus. There we go. Uh, -ah! yeah, there we there we go. We showed that thingy. Okay, so there's a pit down there, and over here we have a room that appears to be largely empty, and we can actually sort of see underneath here. It doesn't seem like there's much going on here. I mean, there is some dried blood. I think it's dried blood, probably. If I had to guess, <laughs> I would like to exit, please. Thank you. Jesus, <laughs> there we go. Um, all right, well, yeah, I mean, why why wouldn't we go down uh, underneath the floor here? Because that's not fucking creepy at all. This is going to be a bit dark, I apologize. I don't know there's a ton that I can do about that. Except maybe we could do uh, a little bit more gamma, just like a, a little bit. Is that going to help? Not really, no. <laughs> okay, uh, maybe I didn't save the options, actually. It looks exactly the same. Whatever. It is a short little section here, so I think we'll be fine. Hmm. Not much else going on in here, either. Just a lot of janky-ass fucking physics objects. I swear to God. <laughs> Get over there. Stay there. Never touch me again. Okay, everything's fine. Music uh, changed a little bit there. <laughs> oh, hey, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's brutal, man. <laughs> and the sound effect. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, we can't go through this door because we're afraid of spiders and there's webs all over it, so. Yeah, unfortunately, there's no going through there. Uh, however, I guess we're not that afraid of spiders because we can go through here instead. All right, and we seem to have found uh, something here, except we can't, can't. Weapons not allowed. So this, this is Elysium. Are you saying? Just let me through the fucking. There we go. <laughs> oh, cool. Now we can, <laughs> we can get through. Very well. Oh, we have auto walked. <laughs> Real terror is not the sight of death. It is the fear of death. What is the fear of death? Terror of the unknown. Is it these eyes you peer into? No. I am not the unknown. You and I are closer kin than you and it were. Uh Okay, so I guess we moonwalked over just for, you know, a little bit of drama, added drama to the situation. Uh, so let's see, what are you exactly? Drinking blood to sustain your death, you are damned, yes? What if, besides the blood of the living, you had to eat pounds of their flesh to maintain that thin facade of life? What would you call it? Twice damned? Aha. Uh -huh. So she's like, uh... I mean, I would have said ghoul, but ghouls are different in this world, so I don't know what to call her. Aghast? I don't know. 
Uh, I'm just making a just dipping into my my names of undead shit that would eat flesh, I guess. <laughs> but she's uh, she's something, all right. Um, hmm. So uh, I mean, it seems like we could be slack shot and be like, "Oh, you have to eat human flesh." I mean, she just fucking told us that. So who are you? My birth name I tell no one. You may address me as Pisha. Pisha was the name of my companion and lover in a time before my death, 230 years ago. She has no need of it anymore. Aha. Uh -huh. So, um, why are you here? My stay in this city is transitory. I seek relics of the occult traced here and would trade similar artifacts to acquire them. But if you wish to bargain with me, the kind upstairs must be sent down here. He has seen too much. Get a little bit sloppy there, then, aren't you? <laughs> um, are you gonna eat him? Eventually. Oh, geez, that's gruesome. Uh, well, hmm. You know, I don't think he's gonna come down here too willingly, because uh, I believe he has shit his pants. Tell him this was all a ruse. His friends playing a joke. He will come. He must come down here. If he leaves. The frail disguise we wear for mortals will be seen through. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Who am I to argue with a flesh-eating monster? I'll go get him. Yeah, that's fine. This is not at all out of the ordinary. I mean, with all the shit that we've seen, I guess it kind of... You know, the definition of ordinary is very quickly <laughs> changing uh, from uh, what you would expect in a human life. Just kind of checking out what we got in here. It was just more dark corners, it would seem. And we got like a morgue down here, so that is also gruesome. Ah, and yeah, here's our, uh, I think that's our our vent that'll give us a shortcut out of here. I think I checked, I was trying to check over here, but it's just darkness. Um, all right, fair enough. Well, let's go this way, the correct way, and um, see if we can convince... Uh, Whatever that guy's name is, to get his ass down here and die like a proper human being. That's actually a pretty short trip. He's not even here anymore. That's a problem. <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd you go, man? He's not here. Hmm. Perhaps some clues are uh, afoot? I don't think Auspex, yeah, gives us wits, which I don't recall. I don't think that gives us anything. A bedpan. I should probably wash my hands now. Because that is gross. Um, yeah, I would have expected to see... Yes, here we go. This is our clue. We've got a business card. A business card. Uh, this is a business card for Haunted L.A. The name on the card is Simon Milligan. The address is listed as Skyline Apartments. Apartment 1 in downtown. Okay, so... We shall uh, go investigate these apartments. We actually could probably do a little bit of the Plague Bearer quest at the same time, because I think, didn't somebody tell us to uh, to go? There was, wasn't there somebody in the Skyline Apartments or something? Um, some sick guy? Can't quite recall. But uh, let's go ahead and we'll uh, save the game here. Now, where is Skyline Apartments? This is a good question. I'm going to go this way. I don't know if it's this way or not. Um, maybe we can talk to some homeless people at the same time. I don't know. Can we talk to this guy? This guy doesn't seem like he's got much going on. <laughs> They're that crab nipple and this guy crab nipple. <laughs> don't understand a word of what he's trying to say. He's trying to see if there's anybody down here. Can we go in there? We probably could go in there. I'm not going to, but, uh, good to know. So I guess, uh, Skyline Apartments is not... Specifically right here. I think it might be down this way But uh, yeah, if we can find some homeless people to chat with as well, that would be Just swell. So let's look for them first uh, I imagine there's some around somewhere in these back alleys Just can't quite recall where I guess we're not getting in there Is that something on the ground? Just a piece of paper, I guess. Something like that And this is actually gonna bring us back To the same spot no? Maybe? Uh, sort of. Uh, I was wondering if maybe we could jump over that, but uh, it doesn't look like that's going to be a possibility. don't think we can get up there. So I guess that alley is just a dead end. Which means 
Actually, you know, our best bet is probably the last round. Uh, as far as homeless people go, I, I, I'm recalling. So, um, yeah, like around this way is probably where we want to be. I'm going to check down here just to see if there's anything to see. I don't think we went down here before, but maybe we did. I think we, actually, I think we did. Okay, so there's nothing going on there. And around here, we do have a bunch of homeless people. So maybe one of you, like you right here. What? Get away from me. Leave me alone. Uh, I need to ask you about the sickness that's been plaguing the homeless. Uh, don't worry about me, just a normal, concerned citizen. <coughs> oh, you do? Well, I don't believe you. You're after my aluminum cans, aren't you? Well, you're not gonna get them. Just get away! I am partial to aluminum. Oh, Jesus, are we gonna flirt with her? Ah. Uh... <laughs> oh, what, you don't remember me? I'm your friend from the homeless shelter. Come on, darling. Ah, oh, okay. All I know is that old Tin Can Bill, he's been jabbering about some kind of monster that took him somewhere and got him sick. And that's all I know, okay? And that's all I'm saying. All right, where is he? Well, you can usually find him down in his alleyway, just across from that bar over there. All right, thanks. So, I guess we will check this out real quick since we're right here. May as well. And that is not exactly what we're looking for. I think probably down this way. No way. Not there. Uh, maybe down here? Like through... There we go. This looks like our guy. Somebody says snorts. <coughs> Who's there, huh? Old Bill can't see too good these days. Is that you, Fred? I ain't got no booze tonight, so you may as well get the hell out of here. Uh, it's not Fred, Bill. I heard that uh, you can tell me why everyone's getting sick, though. Yeah, I might be able to. <laughs> but I'm awful thirsty tonight, mister. Could you spare five bucks for a man who's been down on his luck? Uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh... <laughs> Thank you much. <laughs> going to have to go pick up some hooch <laughs> for medicinal purposes you know <laughs> oh yeah of course <laughs> now I know you ain't going to believe old Bill because I've been telling my friends of the cops and everyone since it happened and people just say that it's the hooch talking and nothing more all right well just tell me anyway it was a monster you see monster with his face all twisted and ugly, teeth longer than your finger, and these eyes piss yellow and full of hate. I've never seen eyes like that before, still giving me bad dreams. Okay, so what happened exactly? He grabbed me, threw me over his shoulder, took me to the bad place, the dark place. <laughs> oh, God, the smell, worse than anything I've... And then he bit me, my neck. Oh, God. It was horrible. Don't remember too much after that. Blacked out and woke up here in my alley. <coughs> Haven't been feeling too well since then. Aha. <coughs> uh -huh. But uh, for real, though, I actually need to know where he took you. <laughs> Came up through the sewers, he did. Just around the corner there. <coughs> <coughs> Don't want to go back to the bad place, friend. <coughs> Don't let the monster come back and take me there. <coughs> uh, he's not doing so hot. Uh, but, uh, thanks for the information, man. See ya. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. You, got, you give me the triple dot. That's a bummer. <laughs> oh, and... He has now become no longer conscious, <laughs> possibly no longer alive. <laughs> um, all right, so there's a uh, a sewer grate here. Uh, I see we couldn't get through. This is where I wanted to come through, but could not. Fair enough. Can we take our five bucks back? Because <laughs> uh, I mean, well, it doesn't really matter. I chose to give him the five dollars. I could have persuaded him out of it, but uh, 
Anyway, so there's a little bit about what's going on with the plague, uh, but let's also check in at Skyline Apartments now. I think it's just going to be down in, I mean, it must be down in, in the other direction, I guess. Um, by, actually, yeah, I think it's kind of near the hotel, isn't it? Now that I think about it, didn't we, like, kind of walk by it to get to Empire Arms? So there's, yeah, there's that hotel. Uh, and then if we go... Just sort of motorcycle. <laughs> Wasn't sure what the hell that was at first. Uh, but yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's down here. You're in gunfire, which concerns me. Because I think that's actually people shooting each other, because that, that shit can happen down here. Um, okay, uh, yeah, this way. I think. If not, I, it must be at the other end. <laughs> but, or at the, uh, just behind us here. Okay. I think... It was Nocturne. That is not somewhere we can be, as far as I know. So we've got Empire Arms. I thought we had Skyline Apartments, like, right here as well. Getting all kinds of lost, again. So it must be down here. Alright, just, uh, just, just, just give me a minute, and, uh, I'll be right back. Oh, wait, no, it's right here. <laughs> okay, thank God. I thought it was right here. I just didn't, didn't quite see the sign. I was expecting something a little, a little brighter, I guess. Okay, so... We've got a security guard here. Some mailboxes, uh, one of them scratched out, and an elevator, and employees only. I wonder how pissed this guy's gonna be when I do this. Uh, don't mind me. He does not seem to give a shit. You done coughing, man, or like... <laughs> Apparently not. Uh, so we have like some kind of maintenance closet here. We have uh, that's probably the room we're looking for. Uh, a sewer grate, probably for the Nosferatu, and um, something else going on over there. Okay, well, I think this is the room we probably want to be uh, taking a look at. Oh man, some pizza and a can. This place is filthy, very filthy, as a matter of fact. And we have a some kind of camera set up in what looks to be an apartment. Now, I'm guessing that's an ethics violation right there. But uh, let's check our email real quick. If we can actually get in here, maybe we can't. Uh, okay, we're going to have to auspex for this. That's fine. Email. Aha. Yeah. Very nice. Hidden cameras online, are they? So, this is from Butch Ryder. Uh, hey Tom, it sounds like we have a deal. You keep sending in that security footage and I'll pay you for the good stuff. Um, what about apartment notes? Apartment 1. Apartment 1, Simon Milligan. Ah, uh, now that's the guy we're looking for. He's on TV, so odds are footage of his place will be worth something eventually. I gotta keep an eye on him. Apartment 2. Sean Milton, he's a slob, never really has chicks over, some guy has been staying with him lately, I haven't wanted to watch much. Now, I think, don't we have like another thing going on here in downtown at Skyline Apartments? There's a lot going on here. Um, let's see, this rich broad is pretty hot. Oh, the password to her door is 9648, so maybe I'll sneak in there and steal some panties to auction off online. Oh, jeez, come on now. Uh, vacant, no reason to keep an eye on that one. Apartment 5, Paul Anderson, I thought there was no reason to watch him, but then I caught him upstairs. Uh, I'll keep the tape rolling. Okay. Uh, Hannah Glazer, the gold mine. Something hot is always going down in here, and that something is usually Hannah herself. Okay, so it actually, you know, it seems like there's a lot still like to do <laughs> in here. Um, so maybe we'll call it an episode here, and then when we come back, we'll explore this, uh, this whole apartment situation. And uh, then we'll go back and talk to uh, to Pisha, assuming we can get uh, Simon to get his ass down here. But uh, yeah, it sounds like there's a lot going on up here. So, uh, and I'm guessing we can actually use this vent to uh, see exactly what those things are. Uh, but yeah, so I think until next time, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.